This is a quick update video on the progress on the PinePhone Pro. This is a PinePhone Pro. It at the moment has Tau Boot flashed to the internal storage and also postmarked as Edge, which is why there's no SD card in this. So if I power this up, it will go through the default uh, progress of Tau Boot. First a red LED to signify that Tau Boot has started. And then a yellow LED to signify it's booting from the default storage, which is the internal storage in this case. And here a warning, I did not power off this phone correctly before recording this video. And here we are in Vosch. And well, yeah, this is basically your standard force experience. You can open postmark as tweaks to get a few stats about this. Here you can see that my disk size is the 128 gigs EMMC that's internal. And I'm running the latest 5.16.3 kernel. And this all seems to be pretty stable when running from the internal storage. And of course, since this is the PinePhone Pro, this is also all very, very fast. Well, especially compared to the original PinePhone. First launch of these apps is still a bit slow because it has to load full desktop applications from the internal storage. Also, my light just ran out of battery. But yeah. This is a nice and smooth as expected from the PinePhone Pro. And uh, the smoothness does not really show up on camera that well. It's perfectly smooth in real life. Now, there are no uh, pre-built postmarked as images available yet for the PinePhone Pro. Trying to get everything stable first before before we release any of the images for it. So stuff doesn't break on the first upgrade when people install this. But we are slowly getting there, especially with uh, getting everything around Tau Boot working for the PinePhone Pro. If I restart into Tau Boot here, can show some of the neat features that are in Tau Boot. If I hold volume up here, you can see that the RGB LED has now turned blue. It's not very visible here because it's bright LED. If I turn down exposure, you can see it is actually blue. It's just a bright LED. And this Currently, it, there's no display support yet in U-Boot for the PinePhone Pro. But this is the internal jump drive mode of Tau Boot that is always available. And this will expose the whole EMMC of the phone to the computer. In fact, if I grab a USB cable, I can show that. Let's, let's plug in an official red USB cable. And I bumped the battery here. I have to hold volume up again to get into the required mode. If I launch GNOME disks here, you will see the PinePhone show up as a large Linux UMS disk, which is universal mass storage or USB mass storage, not entirely sure. But yeah, it is the postmark to installation on the EMMC of this device and the space where the bootloader is stored at the moment. This will still change because this is now an MBR partition table and it will be becoming GPT in this case. 
But yeah, this is one of the nice features of Tau Boot. There's built-in jump drive support, basically. Another feature of Tau Boot is that while it by default boots from EMMC, it is now possible to hold the volume down button while booting. And that will make it look for the SD card instead of for booting. So that makes installing operating systems a lot easier. And once this is all stable and merged in Postmark OS, it might be possible to start generating images for this that are possible to install on the Explorer editions. Thanks for watching.